Hey, good morning. It's just after 5 a.m. here in kind of dark Walla Walla, Washington. But I'll tell you what, if you are trying to make a few bucks doing this stuff, you better get up early in the morning to get those good jobs, keep your doors open. I don't have to do that anymore. It's just a habit. But it's really nice getting up early in the morning. I really enjoy it. You might try it sometime. <laughs> Yesterday I was uh, woodworking and <clears throat> the neighbor next door says I should start a woodworking channel. I might just do that. But uh, I want to show you something really cool that uh, I don't think you have seen before. And, and maybe not even heard of. And the reason is, is because the system uh, is just worn out. Now, the milling machine here, uh, this old brown and sharp war machine has this. So I'm going to show it to you. I think it's pretty cool. Let's have a look at it. And off the camera mount you go. Now, here's the machine here. The um, Brown and Sharp number two plain standard. Um, that's its full uh, name. It's a 1942, 1943, um, about the time that the, the Hanford uh, Nuclear Reservation started up. This was out there. And then later during the Cold War, they kept it out there and uh, put the... Uh, HEW, USA HEW, that's a high, high uh, energy weapons uh, program. Property of the United States government. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, okay. Now, in the, la <laughs> in the last episode, smoke is coming out of this thing. And <clears throat> I'm going to check out why I'm looking at the uh, uh, electrical stuff uh, in here. This is really dirty. But uh, the motor, I, I don't know. It doesn't have grease in it. Um, this motor here was built so you, um, if you over grease it, it just falls out the bottom of the end belts. There, there's no, uh, it's not full of grease, but it, it, it could have oil on, on things in there. Okay, now back around here. See if we can get around here, it's real tight. Now this is pretty neat. What this uh, machine has, I'm, I got a trouble light here. I'm going to juggle things around. I'm looking through the camera. And what you're looking at, instead of belts, um, this is a silent chain. And it's, uh, let's look at it from the side kind of. You kind of get an idea of it. Now, um, I guess this is the same chain or type that they used in the old Cadillac Eldorados and those big old Toronados in the 70s to make a front wheel drive out of those big boats with the 500 inch engines. I'm going to turn the camera upside down. I haven't looked up there and you can see the drive hub. Get the, let me see what we can do here. Okay, yeah, there's the drive hub and <clears throat> brake. That's a brake system there. And uh, the brake hooks up to uh, this heavy outer cover as an anchor. And uh, you got to really be careful not to turn the machine on if you don't have this back plate on it. It'll break the rod like I did. <laughs> I have to machine it. But that's the upper upper hub. And look back down to the motor. Okay, there's um, there's the sprocket off the motor. Now these chains are replaceable. You can still buy it. I I I, I think I priced it around two hundred bucks. Um, the chain probably weighs about I don't know thirty pounds. It's heavy. Uh, how wide is that? About four inches wide, maybe three inches wide but um, <clears throat> um, what happens is the sprockets worn out wear out on these and this machine's 80 years old 
Um, they also used this drive on the Reed Prentice lathe. And uh, my brother has one uh, with the chain still intact. So what happened over the years is uh, those sprockets wear, wear out. You know, this one down, uh, down here on the motor, then the drive hub up here. And, and so they machine the, the teeth off those and uh, graft the groove pulley on. And I actually did some work like that for one of these, I think years ago, um, put a, converted that um, sprocket to a uh, V-belt. So <clears throat> this machine had, I don't know if you can really tell by looking, but uh, when sprockets get worn, they get sharp. And uh, this, this is like new. You know, this machine has been used so very, very little. And uh, one of the bad things that happens uh, <clears throat> when the sprockets get more and the stuff, the, the chain starts vibrating more. And uh, when I started this mill up, you were hearing this chain because uh, the, it sat here for quite a while and all the oil drained off of it. And uh, here's the lubricator for the chain. See this compartment here? Okay, down here's the lubricator. It's uh, on that plate there. And you remove to inspect chain. And they say something about lubricating it too with, with, that, with that oiler. Then, then the excess oil just kind of drains down there and you wipe it up. But you don't really use that much oil on these, uh, evidently. But uh, I'll probably tend to kind of oil the crap out of it, I suppose. But um, this is... <clears throat> kind of a rare opportunity for me, anyway, to actually run a machine with a chain drive because they're all gone now. Um, other manufacturers use this too. Actually, South Bend um, had kind of a wall mount unit for their um, cone drive, cone pulley drive lathes. So, you know, so there you go. That, that's a uh, that's a silent chain, they called that. And I gotta reach my arm around here. The adjuster's right under that little thing there. And it's got a really nice uh, um, hinged platform. Let me get out of here. I'm stuck back here. So, what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day here is uh, probably dink around with this and find out just what's going on with these connections here. Um, I got that cover off. I can't uh, uh, tell exactly what what's going on. So I'm going to run the machine again and uh, and see if I can find just what's going on there. You know? Um, yeah, this is, yeah. The the motor's mounted on a really heavy duty plate for that chain drive. So anyway, that's uh, that's what I've got this morning, and uh, what a what a nice morning it is. You know, be able to work on a vintage machine like this. I'm a very lucky person. Okay, you guys uh, have a good day when you get up.